welcome to tech Cody channel today we are going to the topic single phase induction motors it is a one of the important topic in any competitive exams you get definitely questions on this topic i discuss a lot of the electrical topics in my channel please go to my channel and subscribe it if you not subscribed and hit the notification button to get my videos as a notification if you like the my videos please like and share the videos to your friends let's go to the topic here you can see that the speed of universal motor is generally reduced by how here they ask the question as how you can reduce the speed of motors universal motor reduced by using day trains wheel belts breakers chains by using this by using which one you can reduce the speed of universal motor by using the gate trains we can reduce in the speed of universal motor the direction of rotation of universal motor can be reversed by reversing the flow of current through by through by, through which one you can reverse the direction of universal motor the options are armature winding field winding either armature winding or field winding none of the above the direction of rotation of universal motor can be reversed by reversing these either the armature winding or field winding with these you can uh, change the direction of rotation of this universal motor in case of high speed universal motor which of the following needs more attention they are asking more attention in play air play insulation motor balancing motor here they ask for the in case of high speed motor here you can check the keywords mainly you can check the keywords while you read the question what they asking read twice when you read when you read the question you can definitely get the answer but you need to understand the question by reading twice itself here they ask for the high speed universal motor by which of the following need more attention by balancing motor you can get these high speed universal motor a universal motor can run on ac only dc only either ac or dc none of the above the universal motor can be run on either ac or dc in universal motor the common cause of bus parking in the universal motor uh, common cause how can uh, commonly get uh, the sparking at the brushes open armature winding short armature winding short field winding high commutator mica all of the above in universal motor the common the most common cause of brush parking is all of the above the open armature winding a shorted armature winding shorted field winding higher commutator mica you can get these bus parkings universal motor is one which a universal motor is one which can operate either ac or dc supply at approximately the same speed and output it can be marketed internationally run at a dangerous high speed on no load a universal motor is one which it can be operated either dc or ac and is supplied at approximately the same speed and output this is the option a universal motor is one which can uh, operate on both either ac or dc and supply at approximately the same speed and output the speed control of a universal motor can be achieved by varying the field flux varying the field flux with tapped field winding connected rheostat in series applying variable voltage by means of silica 
control rectifier applying variable voltages by means of variable auto transformer all of the above the speed control of universal motor can be achieved by varying the field flux with tabbed field winding connected rheostat in series applying variable voltage by using silicon silicon control rectifier applying variable voltage by means of auto transformer by using all these you can reducing the speed of uh, universal motor the option is all of the above methods The speed of universal motor is usually reduced by here they ask to reduce it by using gearing belts breakers chains by using gearings you can reduce the speed of universal motor the universal motor operates on synchronous speed with varying load constant load and varying speed approximate constant speed and load constant speed and varying load The universal motor can operate it on approximately constant speed and load. In a universal motor, normally the ratio of width of the brush to width of the commutator. Here you can observe the question. The he asked here the ratio of width of the brush. Here they asked the width of the brush to. width of the commutator segment so we can look at the options 6 is to 1 4 is to 1 2 is to 1 and 1 is to 1 the width of the brush to the commutator segments is 2 is to 1 the direction of rotation of universal motor can be reversed by here they ask for how can you reverse the direction Now rotation of universal motor interchanging the brush leads, switching over from AC to DC, reversing the supply terminals. Any one of the above by interchanging these brush leads, you can reverse the direction of rotation of these universal motor. When a universal motor is operated on when a universal motor is operated on no load. its speed is limited by its speed is limited by supply voltage frequency on which of reaction windage and friction weight of the armature here the universal motor is operated on no load its speed will be limited by windage and frictional losses what could be the size of universal motor for use in vacuum cleaners he asked us the size of universal motor for use in vacuum cleaners 2 hp 1 hp 3 by 4 hp 1/2 hp is it should be 3 by 4 hp the size of universal motor we use it in vacuum cleaners is 3 by 4 hp which of the following application here they ask for the application of the universal motor makes us for universal motor portable tools lead machines oil explorer floor polish machines here they call here they ask for the application application that is a portable tools we can use for these universal motors universal motor is one which is available universally it can be marketed internationally it can be operated on ac or dc supply it runs dangerous high speed on load the universal motor is one which can operate either on dc or ac supply an outstanding feature of universal motor it is here they call outstanding feature of universal motor it should be best performance at 50 hertz frequency slow speed at all loads excellent performance on dc supply and highest output kilowatt per kg ratio here you can see that you get the answer very easily by reading the your question twice and understanding it what they are asking here they asked the outstanding future of universal motor it is should be highest output kilowatt kg ratio the speed of universal motor is here they asked the speed here they asked the speed of universal motor is 
dependent on frequency of supply proportional to frequency of supply independent of frequency of supply none of the above the speed of universal motor is depend upon the frequency of supply which motor is relatively relative free from mechanical and mechanical and magnetic vibrator shaded pole motor universal motor reluctance motor high star is motor here they asked which motor is relatively free relatively free from mechanical and magnetic vibration it should be hysteresis motor a repulsion motor is equipped here they asked a repulsion motor is equipped with a commutator slip rings a repeller either a or nor b a repulsion motor should be equipped with a commutator a repulsion start here they are the repulsion start induction run single phase motor runs as induction motor only when here they asked when brush or shifted from to neutral plane short circuited is disconnected commutator segments are short circuited starter winding is reversed here they asked the repulsion start induction motor run single phase motor runs as induction motor only when these commutator segments are short circuited then only it runs as this induction motor in repulsion motor the direction of rotation of motor in repulsion motor the direction direction of rotation of the motor is opposite to the brush shifting is same as the brush shifting is independent of brush shifting here you can see that the repulsion motor direction of rotation of motor is it is same as that of brush shifting in repulsion motor maximum torque is developed when here they ask in repulsion motor maximum torque developed when when is the maximum torque developed in repulsion motor the brush axis is 45 degrees electrically to the field axis brush axis coincides with the field axis brush axis is in 90 degrees electrically to the field axis none of the above it should be brush axis is at 45 degrees electrically to the field axis that in that condition only you can get the maximum torque at repulsion motor the speed torque characteristics of repulsion motor is similar to the that of dc here they asked the speed torque characteristics here they asked the speed torque characteristics of repulsion motor is similar to the dc when it should be shunt motor series motor compound motor and separately excited motor the speed torque of repulsion induction motor is similar to the dc when it is should be compound motor the purpose of starter winding in compensator repulsion motor is to here they ask the purpose of starter winding in compensator repulsion mode compensate Air repulsion motor is to providing mechanical balance, improving the power factor, and providing better speed regulation. Prevent hunting in the motor, eliminate the armature reaction. Here, the purpose of starter winding in compensating repulsion motor is to improving power factor and providing better speed regulation. You can see that that is better speed regulation and improving this power factor. the repulsion motor zero torque is developed here they ask for zero torque developed when when it should be developed the zero torque in repulsion motor the brush axis is 45 degrees to the field axis and the brush axis coincides with the field axis and the brush axis is 90 degrees to the field axis both b and c in the repulsion motor when zero torque is the brush axis coincides with the field axis and the brush axis should be 90 degrees electrical to the field axis the option is both b and c here they ask for zero torque where the brush axis is 45 degrees electrically to the field axis it is a, it is a maximum 
it is a maximum torque it is, it is a maximum torque condition and these two b and c are the zero torque conditions please subscribe my channel if you like the video please like and share to the your friends thank you